was a gorgeous day for the fourth annual Boston Cup. Pamela Gardner gives us a closer look at the vintage and rare cars on view. On a beautiful afternoon on Boston Common, owners shine their cars in the sunshine. This is the car you're getting when you're 16? Yeah. 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 How do you like it? A lot. The fourth annual Boston Cup attracted cars from around the world. You could check out anything from these custom cars to an Indy car to vintage cars to, yes, even motorcycles. A 12 mile drive for this owner put his nerves to the test getting there. Well, I'm always nervous when I drive one of these cars, you know, but it, uh, but it worked very well. The cars are curated like a museum exhibit, and so people nominate the cars. We limit it to 100 cars. We look for the most rare and unusual. I could get used to a car like that. Well, nominations for these types of cars to be in the show raised over $25,000 last year for Boston Parks and Recreation, keeping spaces like this nice and green. This year, organizers hope to raise even more money. Uh, this year, we will have gone over 100000 We give them a $25,000 check, plus a little bit more this year. If you missed the show, plan on it next year. The date is already set, rain or shine. Hopefully lots of shine. Pamela Gardner, WBZ News.